It is the best year in the garden for tomatoes and green chilies. We have three different kinds of tomatoes growing that are Roma tomatoes, tomato black cream and uh, tomato delicious. There are a couple of other um, local varieties are growing but uh, these three are the major things that are contributing for this harvest this year. And uh, for green chilies that are chili de arbol and jalapenos, chili de arbol is a winner again. Tomato black cream is uh, growing in the garden for the first time. And I'm so happy for the size, the meat of the, these tomatoes, the color and everything. If I wanted to grow only one tomato variety in my garden, that would be black cream. That happy I am and satisfied with this uh, type of variety. I wish I would have grown these kind of tomatoes before. Tomato Delicious is doing good as well, but uh, on the packet, I didn't see whether it is determinate or indeterminate. And the plants um, look like they are determinate. The size of the tomatoes are big. They are producing um, okay. Um, in the count but uh, they look like a determinate tomatoes and I'm not sure how long they're gonna last. Look at the size of these black cream tomatoes. I'm so amazed by the size of these tomatoes. Um, the, the flush these tomatoes are having very little seed and all. I'm really amazed. I'm going to grow these tomatoes every single year from now onwards. Other factors that helped for the production of these tomatoes and green chilies are the mulch that you are seeing here. The pine straw I, I had uh, spread across uh, my backyard, entire backyard. And uh, I have started using chicken manure and cow manure lately um, for tomatoes. Uh, green chilies also I think for, for for the entire garden again I have used chicken manure earlier during the replantation and while peppers and uh, tomatoes are flowering I have given a top uh, layer of cow manure also um, another fertilizer I have used for tomatoes additionally is the fish fertilizer during the early stages of these tomatoes, I have given fish fertilizer and that the combination of both chicken manure, cow manure and the fish fertilizer had helped. For these peppers, it's just a chicken manure, I guess. These chili de arbol plants are loaded with chilies. I've been harvesting and I'm not getting time to harvest every um, chili de arbol pepper. I have these peppers growing in both containers as well as in the ground. The plant that uh, I'm currently harvesting is in the container. This is just filled with uh, a little bit of chicken manure, half of the pot, and that's it, the plant is doing great. The difference between chicken manure and cow manure, um, quant like the Fertilizer wise, I don't I don't know the exact difference, but chicken manure worked better than cow manure. I would say that's the difference I I have found in my in my garden. And look at these pepper plants, chili de arbol that are growing in these containers. Um, yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is these are doing better in partial shade than under full sun. So. Uh, a lot of heat and uh, more than eight hours or six hours sun would uh, basically bother these pepper plants. And uh, these containers has some portion of chicken manure and organic pot mix. These two are in partial shade and doing great. Other plants, um, other pepper plants in the container that are under full sun are doing okay, but comparatively not as good as these two pepper plants. Try to feed your tomatoes and peppers with um, chicken manure and cow manure or both. And uh, pepper plants, keep them under shade, partial sun, then they would thrive. That is my experience.